Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you today. Our topic is about the Holy Spirit. Now the Holy Spirit in the Bible is totally different from what it is in the Quran. According to Muslims, the Holy Spirit is uh, the angel Jibreel. And you know, the Muslims somehow they remind me of uh, Jehovah's Witnesses. You know, Jibreel, Gabriel, Mikael, God, you know, they mix between angels and uh, other things. Uh, uh, Ruh al-Qudus. The word Ruh al-Qudus, it's contained two words. One is Ruh. Ruh means spirit, not a soul, you know. Uh, it's a spirit. Uh, it can be a soul, by the way, if we uh, if we attach it to a person uh, like a man or a human or even an animal. <clears throat> but when we say Ruh al-Qudus, uh, it's a holy spirit. Al-Qudus means like uh, holy so Ruh al Qudus means the Holy Spirit and this uh, sentence not word it's a sentence contain two words appear four times in the Quran three of them after the name of Jesus as we see in the front of us in chapter 2 verse number 87 in chapter uh, 2 253 and chapter uh, 3 5 verse 1 thing and then <laughs> at the end we have it supposedly speaking about Allah sending the Quran using or let us say sent by the Holy Spirit and this is in chapter 16 verse 1 or 2 now the Muslims they say to, to you there is no one statement in the Quran it says that the Holy Spirit is Jibreel not even one but the Muslim he might say to you well you don't have one statement in the Bible that says there is the word of Trinity like find me the word of Trinity so how you find the word Trinity? You say, well, because it says uh, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. So, uh, you know, so, okay, you, you, you came with the Trinity, but it's not there. No, it is there. Trinity is just a word to, you know, summarize what we believe in. Otherwise, we do not need to use it. I mean, who, who said we need to use the word Trinity? We do not. I can say the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Trinity is symbolic for what? we believe that's that's all otherwise it's just a word it can be used it cannot be used or well, which means it's, it depends to you like what do you want it's, it's a it's a word in the dictionary but here you cannot avoid it it's a holy spirit it is in the Quran and then how the Muslims came to the conclusion that this is Jibreel they said well it says here in this chapter that the one who sent the Quran down or the one who uh, Allah sent the Quran with is the Holy Spirit and this is in verse 102 one, uh, in chapter 16. And all of us, we knew that Muhammad received the Quran by Jibreel. So it must be him. But this is not enough to say. I mean, that's not really uh, smart. Uh, it can be sent by the Holy Spirit guidance, which can accompany Jibreel. Now, uh, to prove that uh, what the Quran is saying, that the, the Spirit accompany or let us say guide the angel which is the holy spirit uh, we will go to different verses in the quran you see i'm not using christian books at all i'm using just islamic books if we go to chapter 16 verse number two it says he sent down the angels with the spirit okay he sent down the angels with the spirit of his commands Okay, all right, hold, hold on. If the angel Jibreel is the spirit, what do you mean we send the angel with the spirit? If you see, if you if you change the translator, this is big, this is a uh, big tile, you will see how the translation changed. They say they send uh, the angels and the inspiration. Suddenly, the, the spirit became inspiration, but this is false, it doesn't say that. This is the only guy he got it right here in the translation. I don't know if about the rest, but I saw Yusuf Ali. Yusuf Ali, he translated falsely saying that he sent the uh, angels with the inspiration. What with the inspiration? With the inspiration? It doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. It's a big fat lie. This is why in Bektal is coming more, more correct. If let us say Mohsin Khan. You know, I noticed like maybe they copy from each other. They, they are not really translation. You see here, look at Masin Khan. He sent down the angels with 
the ruh. You see the word ruh? Between two brackets, revelation. How the word ruh became revelation? I mean, this is stupid. Is the word ruh revelation? This is a spirit. How the spirit is revelation? <laughs> so let us let us go this. You see, he sent the angel Jibreel with the Quran. The Quran is ruh. You Muslims have mental issue. I challenge any Muslim to say that the Quran is a ruh. Ruh is a spirit. The Quran is a spirit. <laughs> That's madness. So you just change the translate translator. You will see how the translation change. And the reason of that, the Muslim themselves, they are so confused. How they can make this happen? I mean, this, is it an angel? Is it a, is it ruh? Is it, is it the same? Is it different? It says it clearly in Arabic. Abdul, he sent down Yunuzirul Malaika bil ruh. Now, how this can happen? You ask Allah. How he sent the angels by the spirit? Actually, it's not. It doesn't say and the spirit. It says by the spirit. What by the spirit? Is that is the spirit an elevator? And there's only one spirit, as you see here. The word malaika it's coming as a plural name which means it's many angels and that will contradict all the, the the stories of muhammad that the one who sent the command or the inspiration is only one angel because it says here the angels and it says and he sent his inspiration for whoever he said he want receive of his servant okay so here the inspiration they tra they translated as inspiration but the fact it is a ruh so the angels they come with the ruh not with the ruh sorry sorry by the ruh and with them they have the command and that command will be given to their servants so the angel jibreel cannot be the spirit because it says with the accompany of the spirit uh, additional to this when just to show you why Muslims are confused, don't don't be surprised. Muhammad himself is an idiot who do not know what spirit mean. They asked Muhammad about the spirit. Muhammad he went home. He stayed there for two weeks, and then he came back to tell them the following. And don't laugh, please. Try not to laugh. Chapter seventeen, verse number eighty-five. Translation. I'm sure you would die from laughing. They ask you concerning the spirit. You see, they put between two bracket inspiration. That's false. There's no. What do you mean the spirit is inspiration? The spirit is inspiration. Okay, let me read inspiration for you. <laughs> I'm going to read Quran, and now the Quran is a spirit and it's inspiration. How mad! How stupid! Abdul are unbelievable. So they are asking you concerning the spirit of inspiration. Ah, the spirit of inspiration. You see now the change. It's not inspiration no more. It is of inspiration. Ha ha. Okay. But remember the verse before it we showed you that Allah has sent down the angels by the spirit of the inspiration or with. So now the spirit of inspiration cannot be the angels because it says the angels and the spirit. But look what Muhammad he said when they challenged him to tell them what is the spirit. But he have no idea. He went and Allah gave him the answer. Look what he said. Say that Allah is speaking now. Say, the spirit comes by the command of my Lord. They are not asking you if it comes by the command of your Lord or not. They are asking you what is the spirit of do. You see, if I ask you what is an angel, you tell me the angel come by the command of my Lord. If I ask you what is a spirit, I'm not asking you how it come by the command of who. I'm asking you what does spirit mean. But because Muhammad, he had no answer. Look what he said. It come by the spirit of my Lord and you have no knowledge. You have a little knowledge you have. This is what they are asking you. What do you mean? Look, look, look. Of knowledge, it is only little. It's communicate, communicated to you. This is what they are asking you, Abdul. Okay, we have little knowledge. You tell us you are the prophet. So now he and his, his God, they have no idea what the Spirit is. One more proof. How many proofs we gave already? Huh? Uh, if we go, actually, let us go. Uh, all those verses, actually, about the Ruh. 
In here, in chapter 70, verse number 4, it says that the angels and the spirit scanned it to Allah. You see it? The angels and the spirit. Look with me here. The angels end with S, which means many. Plural name. The spirit is one spirit. A scanned into him in a day. So how they say that the angel Jibreel is the spirit, the Holy Spirit? Obviously, the Quran make a clear statement that the spirit, and this is not a spirit of a human being. Those are the one who is in charge of the world. All right. Those are the one who charge in charge. This is not a human being spirit. So the, the angels and the spirit. So how you say to us the angel Jibreel is the spirit and he is the Holy Spirit? It doesn't make any sense. And we showed you this, uh, 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 you know. Uh, and chapter 97, verse number 4, it says the same thing, you know. So there is many, many verses in the Quran. And just one more thing. If we go to the Hadith, you will see here, Muhammad supposedly is speaking about his enemy, etc. And they hate him, blah, 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 blah. But then they speak that Muhammad is a sponsor or praise him and help it all the same and Jibreel the messenger of Allah is among us Jibreel is the messenger of Allah and the Holy Spirit who is who has no match do you see it if Jibreel is the is the messenger of Allah and he is the same as the Holy Spirit how it says and the Holy Spirit who has no match and this is in Sahih Muslim 2490 how more clear than this? Jibreel is just an angel. My answer for the Muslim saying that Jibreel is the Holy Spirit, all right, is very simple. <clears throat> if, you see, here we go. Say the Holy Spirit was a broad revelation from the, the Lord. It's very simple. As long we have here two words, and one of them is holy, and the other one is a spirit. Question to the Muslims. Do angels consider spirit in Islam? Are they? If somebody can show me a reference, so let us see. I want to see if the angels are spirit. And the second thing, is the angels in Islam are holy? If you can show me a reference, let me see. The Quran make it clear that the angels are not holy. Not only that, according to the Quran, the angels were punished for lying and making a false accusation about Adam. If we go in the Quran, we will see here. وَإِذْ قَالَ رَبُّكَ لِلْمَلَائِكَ إِنِّي جَاعِلٌ فِي الْأَرْضِ خَلِيفَةً قَالُوا أَتَجْعَلَ فِيهَا مَنْ يُفْسِدُ فِيهَا so Allah, he said to the angels, we are going, I'm going to make somebody to inherit the, the earth. And by the way, this is a wrong written in the Quran. In different recitation of the Quran, it says Khalifa, not Khalifa. Because at that time when they wrote the Quran, there was no dots. So this is the confusion. You know, the one dot can change the whole meaning from Khalifa to Khalifa. Khalifa means creation. That makes sense. Khalifa does not make sense because how he would inherit the earth if, if, if he is the first man. I mean, the word inheritance, you see, uh, uh, which means Khalifa, same as Caliphate, you know, Caliphate, uh, ISIS Caliphate, he inherited Muhammad. This is what Khalifa means. So, how he will be the Caliphate if there's nobody before him? This is why some of the Muslims are confused and they believe that there was people before Adam because of this word. But in different recitation of the Quran, because as you know, there's many versions of the Quran and not many translations, many versions. It says Khalifa. However, not our topic. So Allah is going to create someone, according to this Quran here, is going to inherit the earth. The angels, they said, are you going to create someone who is going to do mischief and bloodshed and blah, blah, blah. And here Allah, he got angry. He said to them, hey, you know, uh, I know what you know not. So Allah did not agree with them. 
and obviously the angels here committed sin because they accuse Adam falsely because you see Ad, uh, Allah did not agree with them he says I know what you know not and then to confirm that look what he said and he taught Adam all the names of things then he placed it uh, uh, placed them before angels and said tell me the names of you of these things if you are right <clears throat> Actually, the translation here is not correct. It's not if you are right. It is if you are telling. Let us go back. All right. Let's go to the Arabic and get and get the Abdul Busted when they translate. This is why I say always I don't trust Muslims. You know. It says in kuntum sadiqin. You see how they lie in the translation. There's a huge difference between if you are right. And if you are a truthful, here is saying to them, in kuntum sadiqin, which means if you are a truthful. So the Quran accusing the angel, the angels, all of them, with no with no exception, of being liars. If you are truthful, huh? You see here the translation, it says again, if you are right, that's false translation, it's change translator. I will change the translation one by one to show you until we get them busted. <clears throat> if, you are, <clears throat> if you are truthful, huh? Oh, right. See? Aha, uh -huh. this is the correct translation. Finally, we get them busted. So, Allah said to them, Tell me the names. He taught Adam all the names, and he taught him, <clears throat> he taught the angels. He taught them, okay, well, you know what? Tell me the names of those things if you are truthful. And that means he's accusing them of lying. You see the Muslim, they say to us, like there is a guy, his name, uh, learning Arabic, Quranic Arab, uh, Arabic. And by the way, I challenge this guy to dare to accept a debate me. To dare. And he knew he is no match. Not even for five minutes. He would be knocked out in the first five minutes of the debate. So if you are a truthful, so why Allah want to say to the, to the angels, if you are a truthful, if they are a truthful? You know what I mean? So if the angel Jibreel is one of those angels, because this is all the angels, with no exception, Allah is saying to them, if you are truthful, this means Allah accusing all the angels to be not a truthful. So then how you can call Jibreel, a Holy Spirit, if he is accused not to be truthful, he cannot be holy. So we have to strip the word holy from his name. And here you will see after that, Allah, he punished the, Adam, the angels and he ordered him to bow down to Adam, which means the first one who ordered a human being to bow down to non-God, not, not to God, it was Allah himself. So then he told them, you know, okay, we said into the angels, you see the angels, all the angels, not one, not two, all the angels, all right, all the angels. And when the Lord said into the angels, angels you see it not one angel all the angels and then when he ordered them he punished them all too he ordered them all to bow down to angels which means even jibreel he bowed down to angels so how he is holy and he bowed down to unholy if jibreel is a holy spirit how the holy spirit someone holy will bow down to a human being who is a sinner that is a stupid and it does not make sense one more thing uh, before we jump from this story about bowing down to, the, uh, to Adam, the story here is very stupid because Allah wanted to prove to, uh, to the angels that he know what they know not, right? So what he did, <coughs> sorry, I have called, what he did, he taught Adam all the names and he told the, Ad the angels, tell me the names of those things if you are, if you, if you are truthful. Hmm? I mean, this is the most stupid thing ever. Imagine I have a cat and I call her, I, I, call her, I give her a name, Fufu. And then I say to you, well, tell me the name of my cat. And then you say, well, I don't know, I give up. Then I say, here we go. My cat name is Fufu, and that means I am God. You are the one who gave the names. What about you do the opposite? You tell the angels to name the things, and then you tell them that you know what they do not know, because he, you know the unseen. But you gave the name, and then you ask them to know. And then because you, you know, that means you know, not, you, you know what they know, know not. <laughs> That is the most stupid, funny, dummy story. I, I, uh, but this is the intelligence of the funny, dummy Muhammad. Uh, and here, 
one more thing before we finish the story. The Quran says, and this is a Muslim website, I chose it on purpose, so the Muslim will not say I'm making my own article here. Speaking about everything will perish, everything will perish, except the face of Allah. So how he is a Holy Spirit and he will be perished? Because the idea of perish, according to Islam, all the sinners, they will perish and then Allah will resurrect them for judgment day. <laughs> the angels will be perished for what? And they will resurrect it for what? And how they are Holy Spirit is a Jibreel and he will be perished. Because death is a punishment of sin. Adam was created to live in heaven forever, eternal life. Why he die? Because he was kicked out of heaven. But why the angels will be perished and then they will be resurrected? And all of them, they are going to be taken to God to be judged in the judgment day. The Quran confirmed everything will gather in front of Allah and he will judge between them, including the angels. So there is many, you know, كُلَّمَا عَلَيْهَا فَمَنْ عَلَيْهَا فَمَنْ Everything is going to perish. Everything. All right? <clears throat> And there is many verses in the Quran we can mention, but I think we cover it all to show that the Muslims, they do not really uh, 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 know much about their cult. And uh, I understand because they are disconnected, the same as Muhammad. Muhammad is disconnected with the religions he is copying from before him. You know, uh, uh, the, the, the Muhammad as a copy-paste person, he himself did not understand even what it is, what is the trinity in, in the Bible. This is why he thinks Mary is part of it, which is very stupid. That not even one single Christian believe in the trinity as Mary as part of it. I know some stupid idiot that will say the Catholic they believe in that. That's false. You can go and read all the Catholic books. You can visit any Catholic church right now as we speak. And you will not find one Catholic believe that Mary is one of the trinity. And anyone who say that, he is a liar and he is a deceiver. Now, uh, everything is going to be gathered in the front of Allah. All those verses in front of us is, is speaking about the gathering in the judgment day. And uh, the Quran confirmed that everything is going to be gathered in front of Allah in the judgment day, including the angels. Actually, Allah is going to slaughter the, 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 the angel of death, slaughter not just die he will slaughter him in the judgment day you believe it so muslims you stole the word the holy spirit from us <clears throat> and you cannot maintain it and shame on you not to know what is written in your book thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe or to give a like or to share and if you are a christian you really you care for what we do at least at least i mean share with your friends be you know, be Christian for five minutes in your day, if you are not in the whole day. Thank you.